kids, got a question about your favorite books or stories? This is the place to be. Us children's book authors are answering your coolest, funniest, and craziest questions. Ever wonder how we create characters, come up with ideas, or write those silly scenes? Well, grab your imagination and let's dive into the world of storytelling with Kids Ask, Authors Answer. We are here for Kids Ask, Authors Answer, which is basically where kids can ask us anything and we have this wonderful author who's going to answer all the questions that the kids asked in advance. So I'm Amy Doslich. I am a children's book author myself. The Hannah, Banana, and Mary Berry series. And I'm Sam, Sam Howard Ells, Samantha, Sambo, whatever people call me. Um, and I'm the author of the Mungo series and um, Tiny Boo, Halloween book. And who have we got today? Introduce yourself, Sue. I'm Sue Murley. I'm the author of Shirley Murley, um, my first book, um, More to Come. So, yeah, very exciting. So on Instagram, we have S.T.E. and Myers, and he said, I've read the Shirley Murley and I love it. Excellent. Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I exactly. Don't know without laughing. It's just funny. Well, it makes me laugh and I read it dozens of times a week and I'm still laughing at it. So it all started nearly 30 years ago when I was pregnant and I said to my husband if we have a little girl we'll call her Shirley she'll be Shirley Murley and if she'll be, hair, she'll be a curly Shirley Murley and we thought this was hilarious we found ourselves very funny. I, I have to quickly ask Sue have other people asked you to make up rhymes when they're pregnant? <laughs> I do it anyway because really <laughs> I think rhyme all the time from six till nine but it's fine I just can't stop. Okay um, before we jump in, Sue, we thought it would be fun if you show your book and just kind of give us a short overview and then maybe also do a, the biggest tongue twister that you have in your book. Oh, I'd love to. This is one of my favorite <laughs> bits. So I'll, I can't see all of my thing. Can you see it? That's good. Yes. Yeah. Early. This is Shirley Murley. She has ginger hair, as my daughter has ginger hair. So she's based on my daughter by me. As you may not know, reading rhyme you can read it really 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 fast and i tell this to all the children i talk to you learn to read rhyme it's if you find it reading a bit trickier find something in rhyme you can read it fast so my tongue twister is shirley is Anne. always early poly well it's well it's well holy 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 shirley money from burnley <laughs> wow that was fast <laughs> oh, okay. good job <laughs> and then i use get someone to read it as well one of the teachers or one of the children and they all say how do you read it so fast I said because I read many many times every week so <laughs> all good yes you've practiced that quite a bit <laughs> I've practiced it a lot yes I I'm pretty sure there's not a single sentence in my book that I could say that fast <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> that's amazing cool okay so we have a question from Lily who's aged five okay I love this Hi, one <laughs> If I spin like Shirley, can I go so fast that I turn into a tornado? <laughs> oh, that's a really good question. I've never been asked that before. Um, I'd give it a try. See how fast you can spin. Why not? If you get spun around like one of the pages. Am I allowed to show pages in the book while I talk? Yes, yes. Go for it. So if you get spun around, <laughs> I think you could fly away because it's so... <laughs> up in the air so yeah spin as much as you want that's great another bit of spinning so after writing this book have you practiced your twirling skills well uh, the more i do the presentations the more i bring into it so i now actually stand a bit like a ballerina when i get to the ballet page which is <laughs> i don't know why it just happens it just happens the kids love that though when you're interactive definitely definitely yeah and and they like i get them to I talk about all the little creatures that you can see in the different pages. I've I've hidden lots of things in the pages, and I talk about. Oh, they love that. So one of my fun facts is about bumblebees and how they've got tiny wings and they flap them two hundred times a second. And I get all the kids to get their wings out and see how fast they can flap. Oh, no, that's Aww. brilliant! That's a great idea. Okay, our next question is from Dylan. He's age five, and he wants to know why doesn't Shirley have brothers or sisters? <laughs> oh, that is a good question. A really good question. Um, I don't really know. Um, mm. it, it might happen. She might have a, a, um, a brother or a sister. But um, yeah, no, that's such a good question. I've not actually been asked that before. I think, <laughs> I think it 
was all focused on Shirley Murley. That was the rhyme and that was the story that I wanted to tell. And then it was the mummy and daddy as well. So I was like, oh, OK, I'll add them in as well. Um, but I didn't really think about brothers and sisters. So maybe, yeah, maybe she might have a little baby, baby brother or sister at some point. Good there you idea. go. A future book. <laughs> So I think our next question, we're going to try to do a video. So we'll see how this works. How did you find so many words that rhymed with Shirley? Well, it was actually the rhyme, the rhymes were with Merley, which is my surname. And I found that I could say so many rhymes with Merley. It just seems to rhyme with everything, which is great. So before I got married, my surname was Bailey. And I could only ever think of Whaley. So... <laughs> Met Mr. Early. He was in straight away because his rhymes it just rhymes with everything. It's just one of those words. I think I think I'm quite lucky that it rhymes with so many words. Because if you think of another word, they don't necessarily rhyme with everything. So yeah, I, I was very, very lucky. That's how I and I, I sort of just went through the alphabet to see what words it could rhyme with. Oh, brilliant. That's perfect. So we have Ella, age seven. Mm -hmm. Does Shirley have a secret hideout with snacks? Oh, this is a great question. <laughs> I, I think mean, I could see a hideout would have snacks. <laughs> oh, a hundred percent, it would have snacks. Definitely. <laughs> I think she does like to get together with all her friends because um, I've put quite a few different friends in the pictures. Well, I had them put in the pictures. I didn't draw my pictures. <clears> I'm not as clever as. As, as you, Amy. Um, do, Sam, do you draw your pictures? I'm not sure. She, she I, just I, drew her last book. She did. I, did I, you? You're I'm both the, very books. <laughs> I always say I can rhyme and I can write, but I can't draw. So <laughs> that was somebody else. So I did have lots of friends put in the pictures and I like to think that they go off and do some adventures somewhere, you know. Um, there's definitely the ballet studio where one of the pages and the sort of obviously little rooms around so I think maybe she does have a den I've never found one but yeah maybe she'll have something that I can poke in a story what do you think her snack would be oh chocolate obviously uh -huh. <laughs> no, there's no question Asian there <laughs> no, oh it's got to be chocolate <laughs> can you still get curly whirlies in the UK well, you can and um, I have friends who keep saying oh you should have put curly whirly in it but that's a brand, and I'm not sure I'm yeah. allowed to do that. Oh, that's true. So what So what are Curly Whirlies? I've never heard of Curly Whirly. It's one of them. With chocolate around it, but it's toffee that's sort of, I, I don't know how you describe mm. it. Whirl of it's, toffee. Yeah, it's almost been flattened and made into like a pattern and then covered in chocolate. Mm. So it's Interesting. It's a lattice almost, like a lattice of chocolate, maybe. Yeah. It's very lovely. <laughs> Okay, so our next question, we're going to try the video again. So we'll see if it works. We'll see. Why does she have orange hair? It says, why does she have orange hair? Ginger hair because my daughter has ginger hair. And when she was little, you could never get any books with characters with ginger hair in them. Ah, it's quite rare. And well, I go to schools a lot. I go to a school every week. And I look at the children sitting in front of me. And you don't get many ginger, ginger children still. It's still quite a rare colouring. So um, that's why Shirley has ginger hair. Caleb, age eight. If Shirley could be any animal, what would she be? That's a great question. Well, oh, what would she be? Something, I don't think she'd be a sloth because I think she's too active to be a sloth. She'd want to be something that's scuttling around. Um, or twirling. Or twirling around. Yeah, what animals twirl about? Oh, the Tasmanian devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good shout, actually. Thank so you. I actually thought about this in advance because I know the questions and you don't know the questions. <laughs> and I was like, a good one would be a squirrel because then it would be like squirrely, surely. Like really kind of exactly. something rhymes. Like <laughs> no, I think something like that. But, you know, I'd, I mean, I'd love to make her a sloth because I do really like a sloth lying there. Very <laughs> lazy, but there's no way she would be a sloth. She's too active. <laughs> so basically you would be a sloth if you could pick an animal. Then <laughs> I actually went to a zoo and um, my sister bought me a, a sloth feeding day at a zoo. So I took copies of Shirley Merley and I did photos of myself with my book and the sloth, as you do, because they are really cute, but they're just so lazy. Yeah, I, I definitely. Okay. Would. okay, Sam, your turn. What would you be? 
Oh, what would I be? I'd be a well looked after cat. Spoiled and pen. And then trying to fit into a box that I don't quite fit in. <laughs> 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 That's pretty accurate about cats. This one is so from Sophia. She's age nine. So it says, why did you choose to write your story using tongue twisting words? We've always stuck. We've always talked about Shirley Murley. So it was only a couple of years ago that I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm going to write this down, see what happens. And here I am. <laughs> Author. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's such a fun, fun story. So did you, I guess you thought about this before the whole wonky donkey thing. Cause that's kind of what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's been, as I say, it's been in my head for 30 years. Um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd read Wonky Donkey and I thought it was great. And, and there's others that are like that, that have that sort of tongue twistery feel. And that that's what I really enjoy, that sort of thing. Um, but to be honest, it, that wasn't in my head. I wrote it and then a few people have said, oh, it's on that theme. And I said, oh, is it? And I thought, oh, yeah, I suppose I suppose it has the same sort of sort of thing. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think just because there's just so many words that are like yeah. tongue twisting, and so that just mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, the stories aren't anywhere. You know. No, not at all. Yeah, no. it's so fun listening to people like read those types of books. Like, yes. Do you do you blah, like me? Do you listen to them and they like try and say it and then they can't and it makes you giggle. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I've got um, I like watching the people who read it on YouTube because they all have a slightly different way of reading the tongue twister oh. and I really like, oh, that's interesting that's the clever way of doing such and such so I sort of I pick up tips for my presentations like uh. one of the goes spin and I'm like oh I like that a lot so I <laughs> that's great I had a couple more people join so hi thanks for tuning in guys <laughs> um it's actually from Mary so my my three-year-old how is Shirley how old is Shirley do you know, I do get asked this a lot. Now, I never considered this, but I <laughs> primary school age or primary school in England is from about five. So I think she's probably six or seven around that sort of age. And the things she likes to do, I think she's probably around that age. I have um, STE and Myers, and he says he has a friend called Shirley, and she was always known as Cheryl the Whirl. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, actually. I should do I should that. I'll put that in somewhere. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, Sam, I think it's your turn. Yeah, sure. So um, this is from Annabelle, age six. <laughs> because Shirley Murley is sometimes curly, does that mean that she likes curly fries? Oh, yeah, curly fries. Do you get them in America? You get Yes, you get we, do, we do have curly fries. Yeah, I, I think that's a really good question. Yeah, I'm sure she would. She'd love a curly fry. Curly fries. <laughs> Early, early, like we said, oh, shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, those are tasty. All, all, all fries are tasty, pretty much. <laughs> okay, now, what do you eat with your fries? Oh, um, well, obviously, fish and chips, very English. Mm -hmm. Love a bit. And then, like, do you have ranch or ketchup or plain or Ooh, mayonnaise, mayo? I actually like mayonnaise with french fries. Yeah. Sam, do you ask? Do you like mushy peas? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have to say it. Yeah, I do like mushy peas. Oh, I can't do it. Uh, no. <laughs> um, so this is from Dylan, age five. Where is Burnley? So Burnley is a place in England. It's, it's up north. Um, I don't have any ties to Burnley, which is a shame because I've had lots of um, interest from people in Burnley. Um, it was just the best place that I could go to Murley at the time. And uh, it's really quite cute that uh, I've had contact with people in Burnley. So it's a, it's a town in, in England, in Lancashire. So have you tried to like contact them at all and try to get your books? Yeah, so I'm in there. I've read the local paper a couple of times, um, the Burnley Express. And I've done, I've done one so far, a virtual author tour with a school in Burnley. So I've been oh, on nice. the children um the little children's more more of a story time for them so that was fun but yeah that's something i'm trying to get into and i've got one lovely family on instagram whose little boy loves the idea the fact that it's set in burnley so i've got some lovely pictures of him with the book he he was really excited to have that i'm sure i'm sure those kids are like oh it's this is our city 
<laughs> you love that town. my book that had your own town in it you know I, uh -huh. I definitely yeah that's that's awesome You'll have to up and do like a little tour like book into cafes and do story time and so tv marmaduke said he eats his fries with mayo and hot sauce <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah. the mayo for sure maybe a ketchup as well yeah hot sauce is a little much for me <laughs> i'm too much of a wuss next one so it's hannah um age six does she have any friends mm -hmm. i'd like to know what the names are well see i uh, there's lots of friends in shirley Murray that i didn't name because then when you're reading it i love the fact that people who look at stories and they look at pictures and they make up other stories in their heads about the pictures so i hope people will look at them and think oh I'm going to call that person whatever and actually make their own names up for them. So, no, I haven't named any friends, but there's quite a few friends in the book. When you go through it, there's lots of other children doing the things with her. So make your own names for them. So we have a question from Logan, who's seven. Are you like Shirley Murley? Do you like to be early? 100%. Always early. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I try to be everything. We do have a reputation for being early for everything because I don't like to date. So I am an early Mrs. Murley. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be early. I used to like, you know, always be 15 minutes early and then I had kids. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> just, yeah. <laughs> and now I'm just like, usually on time, maybe five minutes late. <laughs> no, I, I can't stand being late and I'm not if I'm on my own but um thanks to my husband we're generally always late if we're going somewhere together <laughs> I think we're actually in for it now <laughs> the next one is Grace age six what's Shirley's favorite silly dance move oh, you oh. have to show <laughs> I a bit of this I think that's her favorite dance move she's sort of a bit of a bit of this i don't know can you see how much of me can you see yeah yeah we can we can see you we can see, we can, we can see <laughs> you do a little jig <laughs> arm out oh, smiling and closing her eyes i think that's her little dance move <laughs> is that the same as yours oh um i i i, I do like a bit of a dance i'm a bit of a 70s disco dancer uh, so i do like to just just yeah very, very lots of dance moves i'm afraid what about you how are you two are you done 70 or oh, probably probably weren't born in the 70s were you so 80s disco move i, I was oh excellent <laughs> <laughs> i have no dance moves <laughs> i do not dance <laughs> really oh, no not at all <laughs> but both of your girls dance really well though don't they amy they love to Anna and They Mary. do love to dance. I don't know where they get that from. It is not me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so this is from one of mine. This is from Edison, age eight. If you wrote this book for boys, what would you call it? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. See, I straight away I wanted to say something and I can't say it because it's part of the next book. So I can't. Oh. Oh. No sneak peeks for us today. Oh, no. No. <laughs> but that's exciting. That was actually, I was going to ask you at the, that at the end if you were writing another book. So that's exciting that you're right. How far along are you? Um, it's in production. So, yeah, hopefully, I don't know how long do these things take. Yeah. I'm with a publisher. So my publisher, um, I get them to do everything they need to do. So I don't do that bit myself. But, yeah, so there will be a, ma a boy's name in that one. Okay, good to know. <laughs> have, you, have you completed your story for that one? I have, yeah. I've completed the oh, story. Oh, which is yeah. really, I had done it. I had I'd written this poem and everything um, and the rhymes. And then I had that self-doubt again. I had that imposter syndrome. Oh well, just because I've had one book that's getting well, why why will I get another? And I sent it to a couple of head teachers that I know really well, friends of mine, and I said, What do you think? And they both said, no, you've got to do it. This is really good. So hopefully oh, good. it's going to be as good. Let's hope. So is, is your son excited now? He's going to have his book, huh? Um, the, 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 the male in it is not a human male. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he does appear in it and he doesn't know he appears in it yet. So 
Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying too much. I'm saying too much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is Ava, age five, and she wants to know, does Shirley like to eat cake? Oh, obviously, doesn't everyone like to eat cake? I'm sure she would. I'm sure she'd like to eat cake. I've mentioned chocolate before. It is a big part of my life. So I <laughs> really definitely would. 100%. So do you eat chocolate every day? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> yeah, I do. Not lots, but I definitely have to have chocolate every day. Yeah. You know, like, if you don't. I get I don't even know what the word would be it's chocolate angry because if I don't have chocolate oh <laughs> so TB Marmaduke is excited about your next book he said excellent news <laughs> Thank you. we've got Ben in seven does Shirley play any instruments oh now that is a good question good. playing in instruments so I'm a piano player um but I like to think that I, I like to pretend to play the drums as well. Maybe she could do the drums. I don't know. Hmm. I'm just going to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> about instruments. Sorry, I'm just going to have to write that one down. Perhaps think about all the types of instruments and the sounds they make that you could use a word, a word that rhymes. That's a really good idea. Uh, yeah, I'm sure she will have to play an instrument at some point. So, yeah. Hmm, good idea. Oh, I'm slightly like, thinking. Maybe like maracas or something. You Like when she twirls, it makes... Mm -hmm. Got to rhyme with early though, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but then you could sort of rhyme it with something like um, she likes a song, she brings her drum along. You could have the sort of like, you know, you could go. Improv here. <laughs> <laughs> How about I'm going to write it down actually. <laughs> <laughs> so are you always writing down your ideas? Like, it's, always. Yes. I have paper everywhere that I'm always writing bits down. And then I write just even if it's just two words that are rhyming. Um, but yeah, I'm always writing things down. Because you just never know when that next book's going to come. And now the instrument. Oh, that could really work well. Lots mine, of is, <laughs> mine always happens. I'm going to sleep. And it's like, I'm almost asleep, but I'm not quite asleep. And it's like, I just have this idea that pops up. And I'm like, I have to get up and like put that in my phone notes or I'm going to forget. And it, I've done it. And if I don't put it in there, I literally forget. I'm like, what was that? <laughs> yeah. I had this thing. I threw something on the floor near my bed, like I put a, a, a watch or something on the floor. Then when I'd wake up, I'd see it and I'd think, why did I put that there? Oh, that's because. And I wake up, I can never remember. So now I have to put it down, otherwise I will just completely forget. Yeah, I know, I'm the same. I think mine's to do with age, though, not, not, not to do with anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, th I think it's my turn. So it yeah. is Leo, Leo, age five. If Shirley had a pet rock, what would she name it? Okay. Oh. Oh, Doc. Doc the Rock. Yeah, love, love that. Or Jock. Jock. Yeah, I think we could do a, go with a pet rock. What would they do with a pet rock? Would she Would she put a lead on it? Would she pull it around? Or does she do it? That's Just, possible. No. <laughs> pet rock. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> you know, we're just giving you all kinds of ideas here. Oh, <laughs> great. This is great. I had a friend um, when we were really young, and he, this was so brilliant. And he had a plaster of Paris tortoise that he kept in a shoebox, and he would feed it like lettuce and stuff like that, and pretend that it was real. And he did that for years. It was so funny. So oh. <laughs> I saw him as an adult, and I was like, "Do you remember that plaster of Paris tortoise?" <laughs> have I have one more question here. Mm -hmm. This is Caleb, age eight. Oh, does Shirley ever get in trouble for not cleaning her room? <laughs> oh, now, do you know, there is a, um, there was another rhyme for Merley, which is surly. And surly is like, if you're really grumpy and miserable. Yes, yes. I didn't use it because I wanted her to be a really happy person. But you see, I could do that, you see. She would not clean her room. She'd get in trouble and then she'd be a surly Shirley Merley. So, yeah, there, it's just not been used yet. That would have worked. <laughs> it worked, but then she's been happy all the time, and she's a very happy little shirt, so. Yeah. Like okay, the next one is from Ethan, age six. Is Shirley scared of the dark? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. She might be. She might be a little bit timid of the dark because she's only little. She's only six or seven, maybe. So, yeah, she might have a little bit scared of the dark then 
when she's in the dark, she'd see all the, the fireflies and the lights and the moon and the stars. I'm just going to write that down. I'm not going to write that down. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. She would possibly be a bit wary of the dark, but I don't know whether she'd be really scared. Great question. It's a good answer. <laughs> um, so I actually have one more. This is Max, age six. Does Shirley have a favorite toy? Mm. Does she have a favorite toy? She doesn't at the moment, but she <laughs> need one. She might need a favorite toy. Yeah, I think that's good. What does she like to do? She, she, she does spinning and, and dancing. So I don't know. What would her toy be? I quite like those fidget toys, you know, where you pop pop things in fidgets in and out and move things around and things like that. So maybe she likes that sort of thing because she is a bit of me. So yeah. fidget, fidget spinners, maybe. I don't know. Do you have them over where you both fidget spinners and fidget? Uh, we do. Yes. <laughs> Fidget toys, I think, because she's always active. That actually, see, as I'm talking, it's making more sense to me. So because she's always active, she would need something to, when she's sitting down, she needs something just to be a bit calmer. So she'd have a fidget toy. That's a good answer, actually. So those are all of our questions. Do you have anything else that you want to um, talk about your book? I was going to ask you about your next book, but you've already brought it up. So. <laughs> I've said too much. I, but, but yeah, no, I, I'm very glad to be here really glad to talk about Shirley Murley because it is a bit of a passion of mine and I do love talking to, to people about it and about being an author. as as I've seen you both like I mean we've all linked up and we've all we see so many authors on Instagram and they all have such wonderful ideas and such great support for each other and and the things you learn just by reading someone else's something they're saying and you think oh that's really clever I, I should do that you know something like this I mean a year ago there's no way i would have ever dreamed of doing something like this but oh, i know me either <laughs> it's, it's just a Forget it. and having people talking about books and authors especially new authors it's it's like um it's hard you know none yeah. of us are the, Very. none of but, us are the authors who get a huge advance and who have um hundreds of people following them straight away you know or thousands of people following them straight away we have to work for it so it's interesting always interesting to find a new way of getting your name out there and getting things out there yeah definitely i've got one more request for you sue can mm. you do the tongue twister for us again please but can you do it a bit slower a bit slower so, <laughs> yes yeah, so if you say the words and your beautiful rhymes <laughs> so shirley is and i'll do it slowly then i'll do it fast for you okay she's always early per Twirly, twirly, swirly, hurly burly, curly, shirley, from Burnley. She is and always early, pally whirly, twirly, swirly, hurly burly, curly, shirley, Burnley from Burnley. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> 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 well, we are so glad you came on, and thank you to all the kids who asked us questions. We hope, you know, more kids come and ask us questions for our next author who will be announced soon. Uh, we'll be doing this every two weeks. So if you're a kid and want to send in your questions, um, you can either have your parents find us on our social media or you can send a qu question to kidsaskauthors at yahoo.com. And we also have a kid lit support group on Instagram that's filled with 150 plus children's authors and you can find free eBooks, giveaways, new releases. So go find our account on there and yeah, follow us and you'll be kept up with all the greatest news from authors like us. Thank you so much. For me. It's been really great fun. Hopefully I've answered everything. And you know, if anyone wants to know anything more, pop me a message. Why not? I love your answers, Sue. They were brilliant. They were so Thank good. You. Yes. Good job. You passed <laughs> the kids authors, kids oh. ask authors answers test. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you, everybody. <laughs> Bye.